Rahubat, everybody. Peace and greetings. This is I am Hotep Jeb Mutalib Atum L coming at you once again, or you can just call me George Smith. It don't matter. I'm the same person, just different nations. Well, I got a dual citizenship. But anyway, not important, not important. That's just a little quick introduction uh, from Golden Moore Services, legal education and trust estates uh, and in civil law matters. Um, we're not a law firm. I don't, I'm not gonna be anybody's attorney but I will help you uh, through education. So that's what we want to do. We want to strengthen the mind, the body, and the soul to fight, uh, to fight for your right to be free and uh, fight your right for your right to enjoy your property, to have property uh, and not be subject to uh, outside control, be bound to anything that you're not uh, knowledgeable of uh, by invoking UCC 1-308. So here I got a document talking about um, child support um, is a common debt. Uh, I'm hearing a lot uh, from my clients that, you know, they're saying that child support is some kind of special debt that, it, like a student loan debt. That's a special kind of debt. You can't discharge it in, a, in, a, in bankruptcy court. Uh, Child support is a little different because you can't. You also cannot dis, uh, discharge it in bankruptcy court, but you don't need to discharge it in bankruptcy court. You just need to prove the facts and kill all the presumptions. So, whenever they say, you know, the, the child support officer or their, their clerks of the administrative court uh, that it's a special debt, you know, that's, you know, it's hogwash. Hogwash, man. Um, and I'm going to show you this hogwash through hardcore facts and case law. So this is a little document I, you know, kind of took ex excerpts from the internet and got some stuff from the law library, brought my laptop to the law library and I recorded some of this stuff. So uh, let's go through this, man. Uh, there is no probable cause in a civil matter to arrest or issue body attachment. Uh, body attachment is you're being held as a surety uh, for a debt or you're being held as a surety uh, to ensure that you're going to come to court uh, you know like a surety bond and you, you guys can look that up later uh, probable cause to arrest requires a showing that both a crime has been or is being committed and that the person sought to be arrested committed the offense U.S. Constitution no probable cause can exist because the entire matter arises out of a civil case okay every u.s court of appeals has addressed this issue has held that child support is a common commercial debt see u.s versus leco uh it goes to case law volumes the ninth court of appeals citing cases from the u.s supreme court fifth seventh eighth and ninth circuits by definition Probable cause to arrest can only exist in relation to criminal conduct. Civil disputes cannot give rise to probable cause. Uh, Path versus Kaltenbeck. The Fourth Amendment prohibits a police officer from arresting a citizen without probable cause. By definition, probable cause to arrest can only exist in relation to criminal conduct. Civil disputes cannot give rise to probable cause. All right, so I actually started to look at this case. U.S. versus uh, uh, Luco. I think that's how you spell it, Luco, or pronounce it. So let's actually look at this case. The United States Appellee versus Richard C. Luco, defendant, is also the appellant. So we got, um, is it the Supreme Court? No, it's the U.S. Court of Appeals for the First Circuit in 2001. The Honorable Paul J. Uh, Barbadoro, Barbadoro. Um, so let's look. Let, we're going to read the first couple paragraphs, and then we're going to skip down to the meat of this uh, uh, appellant litigation. So, defendant Richard Lu Luco challenges his convictions under the Child Support Recovery Act of 1992. I haven't looked that up. 18 U.S.C. subsection 228 A. 
one and the dead P and the dead B parents punishment act of 1998 DPPA 18 USC 228 a3 in this appeal Luca argue argues that in the light of the United States versus Morrison this court should reconsider its ruling in United States versus Bojorno uh, don't know what that is which rejected a commerce clause challenge to CSRA and likewise should strike down the DPPA as unconstitutional for the following reasons we find that the defendant's arguments to be without merit and affirm his convictions so it would be a good idea for everybody to look up this act because before reading this I never heard of the Child Support Recovery Act and the Deadbeat Parents Punishment Act. What an insult. What an insult uh, to the nationals of America. This deadbeat and all they do is attack men. <laughs> Come on now, that's ridiculous. Uh, this is actually, this. I believe both these statutes this to be unconstitutional. They shouldn't even exist. I would challenge the constitutionality of these statutes. And I know through research I can gather some facts to fight that. Um, so uh, a commerce clause challenge, anything that goes between the states, crosses state lines, is, a, is an interstate commerce charge from Congress, from the federal Congress. So that's just, uh, actually, we're not even going to read this. You're not going to read this. So we're going to type in the word debt. And we come to an interesting uh, paragraph um in this case law u.s versus leco because the judge here uh barbadoro the honorable he's gonna explain what type of debt child support is right here in this paragraph so this, i'm gonna blow this up uh okay so at oral argument luco acknowledged not only that a child support payment is a thing so he told on himself. Basically what they're saying is he told on himself. It's, he said that child support is a thing. A, a, a thing is anything that can be identified out of existence. Anything in existence is a thing that you can extract from all other things. Okay. So, but also that this thing must cross state lines in order to satisfy the court order. So he's going back to the commerce clause, which I just read. So if you cross state lines, it's an interstate commerce charge. All federal felons have an interstate commerce charge because, as you know, all crimes are commercial. If you haven't done your research, I'm not going to tell you where that's at. Despite these concessions, however, he still maintains that a child support payment is not a thing in interstate commerce, relying primarily on Judge Smith's dissent in Bailey. First, he argues that a child support payment is a wholly different type of thing because it emanates from family law, which is, uh, which is a, basically a court of equity. Specifically, defendant asserts that a child support order is unique because it is unilateral rather than a reciprocal obligation. Um, he brings up a, I guess, kind of a good point, but it's still without merit because he's saying it's unique which he really doesn't you really don't want to say it's unique it it's a civil debt like i was reading back on on this it, it's just this it's just a regular commercial it's it's a common commercial debt you don't want to say it's a unique thing so he's he should probably have gotten an attorney or studied a little bit more uh before you know before bringing this thing to the U.S. Court of Appeals. Okay. Uh, is unique in that? Okay. This characterization, however, is not entirely accurate. So the judge is trying to help him out. He said it's not accurate. Although the non-custodial parent has a duty, a non-custodial parent has a duty to provide financial support, the custodial parent, and fellas, you're really going to want to uh, pay attention to this, the custodial parent, which is usually baby mom, must also demonstrate that he or she is using that money for the care and upbringing of the child. That is a rule. That's a he just created a federal rule, okay? Or he's uh, simply 
uh, recapping of rule. So baby moms or baby dads <laughs> who are who are labeled as custodial parents must also demonstrate that he or she is using the money for the care and upbringing of the child. Child support doesn't make sure of that, okay? All right. Regardless, a child support obligation arises from a court order, whether family court or another civil court, not an administrative court. Okay, a civil court is not an administrative court. It's a legislative court. Okay, it's a legislative court or it's a judicial court, not an executive court. So is a debt that may be enforced through civil remedies. That means it has to be a civil debt. All right, trying to break this down for y'all and uh, just give you a little bit of the crux of what my mind can exploit here, okay? See Musa, Musa, Musari, okay? Once in place, the order creates a debt, all right? So once in place, the order creates a debt uh, corresponding to uh, the Fair, uh, was the Fair Credit Reporting Act. 1692 subparagraphs F and G. Okay, it, the, once you dispute a debt, uh, the collections must stop, and the so the alleged creditor has to show the agreement that what that created the debt. Okay, it all intertwines here. The judge knows what he's talking about. Like any other debt, it is a thing of value one of millions of obligations that make up the stream of commerce subject to congressional control. Holding that state court imposed child support orders are functionally equivalent to interstate contracts and rejecting and, and rejecting idea that child support payment obligations are somehow different. The judge is trying to save this dude here. <laughs> Yeah, right. Therefore, defendants attempt to carve out child support payments from other types of interstate monetary transfers in satisfaction of a financial obligation fails. And I agree with them a thousand percent, a thousand percent. So that's it. I just wanted to uh, make another video for you guys today. I'm going to try to get them out uh, more often than not. And, uh, you know, peace to the God, shalom to everybody out there, uh, no matter, you know, what your ethnicity or what nationality you may have, uh, we're all human beings, man. So peace out, much love. I'll see you next time. Golden Moore Services, hit us up at the website, www.goldenmoreservices.com. Uh, you know, go ahead and book you an appointment or give me a ring. Number's on there. Um, I'm not super booked up. So anytime you guys want to give me a call, I'll be more than happy to help. Rahubat. I mean, Wadu. <laughs>